Hello all, welcome back. Now we can uh, look at uh, what is users and groups and we can see uh, how we can uh, uh, create users and group with a demonstration. So whenever we want to use uh, anything in Azure, we need to have an Azure account. And this Azure account is basically the user account which is available in Azure Active Directory. And this is uh, the account which we use for all the identity and access management uh, across uh, Microsoft online services. It may be Azure, Office 365, CRM Dynamics, etc. And there are normally three type of uh, uh, user accounts uh, which is available with Azure Active Directory. One is uh, uh, the cloud native Azure Active Directory account. That means that we created those uh, user accounts in Azure Active Directory. And other thing is that right, uh, there is something called directory synchronized. Uh, it means that if an user is already in on-prem AD and if we have set up the synchronization with the on-prem AD to Azure Active Directory, those accounts will be uh, synchronized from on-prem to Azure and that will be tagged as directory synchronized accounts. So if you look at the screenshot, there is uh, a column called source and under that source, uh, uh, there is something called Windows Server AD. So that means those accounts are synchronized from Windows Server AD. And the third category is uh, guest account. That means that uh, uh, the user uh, is uh, 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 from another uh, Active Directory or another outside of uh, Azure Active Directory. It might be a Hotmail account or a Gmail or whatever account it might be, right? And if we add directly such external emails, we will be created uh, with a guest account in Azure Active Directory. So that is called guest. So we can uh, use even PowerShell or even Azure portal to create such accounts. So if we'll just look at the command list to create. So first thing is that we need to just create a password profile. Uh, so obviously a new object uh, for password profile. And once we set the password, we can use the command let called a new Azure AD user. And if we pass the right parameter, it will create new Azure AD user uh, in Azure Active Directory. Additionally, right, if there are a large number of users which we want to add, then we can use a CSV file and we can use a bulk import. So again, we have PowerShell commandlets available. So we can use uh, commands like uh, uh, connect Azure ready to uh, authenticate with the uh, Azure Active Directory. And obviously, once we have created a new password profile, we can use import CSV command let uh, to uh, get all the user details from the CSV file and uh, we can uh, use a for loop and we can uh, continuously create those uh, users one by one and assign the same password uh, uh, profile as well. So now we have the users. The disadvantage of managing the users uh, with uh, uh, permissions like role-based access control is that right? We have to assign the users again and again, and if the users uh, 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 leave the organization or new users uh, comes into the an organization, right? We have to reapply those permissions for those users again and again. So that's a management nightmare. That's why we need something called a groups. So if there are groups, then we can assign the user to the group and then we can assign permission at the group level. So that means that once a user enters the organization, if we just assign those users to the right groups, then all those permissions which is based on the groups will be applicable for those users. So from a management perspective, that will be very much easier as well. So there are two type of groups which is available with Azure Active Directory. One is called a security group and another is called distribution group. So if you look at the difference, right? Distribution groups are mainly targeted for uh, 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 email uh, uh, group access. That means that there will be an email distribution list available. And if we send that email to the DL, all the users will receive that email. That's what we call it as distribution group. And the other one is the security group, which is mainly targeted towards managing access uh, to certain set of uh, services, etc. 
so by default or back everything works on security uh, group permissions there are two ways in which we can assign users for these groups one is what we call it as uh, directly assigned and second is dynamically assigned the difference here is that right now we have created a group uh, say for example using uh, azure portal or even from powershell like uh, uh, using command that new azad group and we have just now created a group how are we going to assign users into that group so one option might be we can just go to the group and we can add all the users in, inside the group that's what we normally call it as directly assigned and there is an other option called dynamically assigned group and here we can specify the rules in which the we need to add users into one example might be say for example uh, if the users is from a particular organization um, organization i mean a department or a particular hierarchy then uh, he should be by default part of this particular group so like that we can define our own rules and uh, in this case uh, uh, we don't even need to um, uh, assign that users to the particular group explicitly so whenever uh, a user is under a part of uh, say for example financial services sub organization then he should be a part of uh, uh uh financial services uh, uh security group so like that we will be uh, able to assign the users directly using dynamically assigned uh, policies so we can do this with powershell as well so if you look at command let new az ad group it will create a new group and if you want to see the group we can use command let get az ad group which will retrieve uh, the group object and if you want to add uh, uh, users uh, we can use uh, add az ad group member and we'll be able to add those users and if you want to see uh, the group member permission then we can use get az ad group member for uh, uh, each and every group we can assign a group owner as well and here also we can use command let called add az ad group owner and uh, that uh, uh, object id uh, will be uh, the owner of the group so let's see a small demonstration of how to do that in azure portal so currently we are in azure portal let's go to azure active directory and under the azure active directory we have users so let's click on to users and we can create a new user say for example we can create a new user called let's call it as user1 and if you look at uh, uh, the uh, full entire uh, account it will be user1 at the rate the uh, directory name and we have to provide other details let's call it as user1 as the name and if you want to provide first name last name we can do that and we can either auto generate a password or we can just uh, uh, create our own password as well so let's create a password and here if you want to assign it to groups we can do that but we won't be doing that at this point of time so we fill all these details and if we click on create that will create a new user so now the user is successfully created there are other options as well right if you want to uh, bulk create or bulk invite those users we can do those as well next thing is uh, we can go to groups under the group we can create a new group 
or if we have in, it in CSV, we can import it from uh, the CSV as well. Here there are two types, uh, whether we want to use uh, security group or Office 365. So security group uh, uh, we have already seen, O365 is same as uh, the distribution group, that's mail enabled group. So let's create a security group and call it as group 1. And by default, the membership is assigned here. And if you want to uh, uh, specify who is the owner of this particular group, we can specify. But uh, at this moment, uh, I am explicitly assigning it to myself. And for the members, here we, we can pick the right members. let's uh, say if you want to add user one under this group we can select them and we can click on create so this is how we can add a member to the group the reason uh, membership type uh, is by default selected as assigned and uh, uh, i'm not able to switch it uh, uh, to other option of dynamically assigned group is that those are part of Azure Active Directory premium features and if you have those premium features you will be able to do that but since I have a, a basic Azure Active Directory I can't uh, uh, do that at this point of time so that's all for this video see you in the next video thank you